you got this. We missed the cue again. I know, but we always do it. It's fine. One, two, three. Hello, Springfield! We totally did it. Yeah. All right. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in and joining us today on Facebook. Uh, we are going to move over to the other page on the other website pretty soon, but I uh, just wanted to give you a quick uh, Thursday show update. Yeah. Yeah. I think... Um together yeah you know some things through the week we're and then still do working the big on show it. on Saturdays maybe I don't know we're gonna figure it out mm -hmm. so today what we're gonna talk about are the Thursday show updates uh, what shows are going on tonight at the Outland complex in downtown and uh, also we're gonna talk uh, about what else what do we got we got some Craigslist stuff we saw some weird stuff on Craigslist today guys Craigslist it is was, just weird in general it was odd there's a lot of underground stuff that goes on around here uh -huh. hey here's something new i got i got oh wow cool my legs going i'm marty mcflying right now get it because his hand is, okay whatever Donnie's wearing women's leggings under under izod golf shorts i know moment, i'm and, a trendsetter uh, guys yeah she she allows it i've got to dress up <laughs> like the drizzle i'm dressing like the drizzle today i'm gonna wear a scarf thing uh, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about the uh, the stuff that's going on with the Outland. Let's let's here. Let's uh, take a look at that. All right, guys. Uh, this is the with the stuff that's going on at the Outland tonight. Uh, we came as Romans with Miss May I and Like Moths to Flames. That's Thursday, May seventeenth, six p.m. Uh, it's twenty dollars and twenty three dollars. I believe 23 at the door. Um, I've never, I've never personally seen we came in as Romans, so this would be a good opportunity. They have a great bio. Uh, yeah, they've got a great bio. They, uh, they're from Detroit, Michigan, and they're going to release their full-length album uh, July 23rd on Equal Vision Records. So they're going to come through town. Uh, they're, they're real popular with people, uh, like Moths to Flames and Miss May I. It's kind of like some hardcore bands and stuff. So. Uh, also, here, what is this? Oh, Grey Mountain is coming? Okay, this is going to be a good show. Uh, Welcome Home and Cheap Kites with Grey Mountain, Collateral Damage, and Task at Hand. Uh, all of these bands are cool, man. Um, it's going to be a rocking show. That's going to be two nights, uh, Thursday, May 17th yeah, at the Outland. Yeah, I'm going to hang out on that side. Yeah, that'll be good. And then, about that one. But hey, but look what's over at front of house. You got owls and plants. So this <laughs> is... A, this is... This is good. The songs on this record feel a lot like diary entries to me. In this case, the phrase, Dear Me, can be read as both an expression of regret and the beginning of a letter to oneself. I see it as both notes, owl, vocalist, Jay Sakong. That's the nice thing about lyrics and songs. You can pretty much reveal the most secretive parts of yourself and not feel as exposed as if you just said it out loud. You know, I've written a lot of stuff, and if anybody read it, I'd feel really exposed. I admire his ballsiness. Yeah. <laughs> so those are the shows that are going on tonight. Go to uh, Owl and Plans. That's going to be at the Front of House Lounge. Over at the Outland Bar, you can find the Welcome Home and Cheap Kites with Grey Mountain Collateral Damage and Task at Hand. That's going to be a, that's a, well, that's five bands, so that'll be fun. And then, of course, upstairs at the ballroom as we came as Romans. You can find all of these and more over here at the outlandcomplex.com. Uh, let's see if, let me see, I can probably do this. All right, cool, yeah. Outlandcomplex.com, where you can, oh, there you're back. Hey, welcome. Uh, where you can find all of these shows and more, uh, including, you know, the Troy show coming up, uh, Los Bastardos. That's so the tribute, that. the Primus tribute show. Actually, uh, Danny Maple is going to be at that show with Vultures of Chaos County. So, see down there below, it says Vultures of Chaos County. Uh, shout out to Dan Maple. He's the one who built this amazing computer that we're bringing the show to you with today. It's true. He's, he's fixing my red laptop, too. Yes. I'm excited. Yes, yes, yes. That actually is very exciting. Hey, you know that we have a, um, here, we have uh, a thing. Uh, request local music. We have a phone number. So, I don't know. We don't really use it for much. But if you, if you're interested in calling. Or getting one of those 
fake phone number apps and sending us some info? Yeah, send us some information. You know, be one of, what is that, Deep Throat? Was that the one that, <laughs> back in the day? Yes. Yeah. Deep Throat. Be our Deep own throat. personal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't. It's, it's not my fault. Uh, this is so bad. It's totally my fault. All right. Well, you know, like, like uh, Springfield Confessions, like Post Secret. Do you remember Post Secret? It was all over Barnes and Noble for a long time. People would like, this guy had a post office box, and people would like write their secret confessions and then mail it to this post office box and oh, publish them. Yes, and they were in books. Yeah. They post were Secret. That was really, cool. Really, there's some really weird shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> We also found some really weird shit on uh, Craigslist today. Yeah, hey, you know, buyer beware, you know what I'm saying? Like, here. This um, is actually not weird shit. This is actually great information. Um, and we're not out to, hey, look, I'm green screening. Yeah, it's, 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 it's <laughs> I'm not wearing this fine. shirt again. It's fine. So, yeah, so we obviously don't take everything at face value. This could just be a disgruntled person, but it's something to think about if you're a consumer in the city. Uh, somebody had a, <clears throat> a lemon experience. Yeah. With Nissan and Young Blood, Blood Motors, again, not saying any of it's absolutely true, but something to consider. Um, they yeah. got a lemon vehicle, were told that if they purchased it, it would get fixed, and then now they're backing out of the fixing, and uh, it sounds like a real crappy situation. Yeah, well, I think it's funny. It. But well, here's my opinion. All right, <laughs> she's like, it's a crappy situation. I'm like, you should know what you're you're buying before you get it, because like this says that his wife and I bought a brand new Nissan Rogue in December of 2017. It has always had a wind resistance noise coming from the passenger side of the vehicle from day one. Here's the so thing, he though, already man. knew about it. But here's the thing. Sometimes you have to be a dumbass to realize you're being a dumbass. Like, it's, it's a hindsight thing. Dumbass. Dumbass. No, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, so hey, um, this is uh, Springfield. <sighs> All right, here's the deal. Look at this. Let's set the record straight. This is what this says. It says, let's set the record straight. This was a really weird one. <laughs> this is really weird, guys. I don't know. This is like, this is right off of the Craigslist. I might have to put it in the small frame because... No, here, gonna here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. Uh, that's not what I'm going to do at all. Um, this is going to be so... What the heck? <laughs> there we Ooh. go. All right, now we're down at the bottom. Some Alice in Wonderland shit happened. I know. I, I just drank that tincture or something. I'm pretty sure it was an Amanita mushroom. Probably was. All right, so, all right, look at this, guys. This is, if, if anybody knows this, this is John Q. Hammonds. All right? You know that guy, right? Look at them teeth. Yeah. The woman picture, okay, here, here. This is, this is a woman. I don't know this woman. Does I don't know this woman? I don't know who this woman is. Excuse me for my ignorance. She seems important. She's got a nice hairdo. And a microphone. And a microphone in front of her. And this guy looks like he's got like a presidential kind of attire on. So anyways, the, it, this says, the woman pictured above did not steal the man pictured above's money. For what is reason, this? She felt the need to assert that well, this it, maybe, woman, yeah. maybe, maybe it's her. Maybe she posted this. Maybe we it's don't someone know. else. But she didn't steal this guy's money, allegedly. Uh -huh. At least she feels the need to defend herself, whether it's because she's guilty or innocent. So or somebody feels the need to defend her. It's real weird, man. I don't know. The, the man, this said, the woman pictured above, this is where it gets real good, okay, guys? <laughs> and even if it's not true, it's juicy. The, <laughs> Joe Bridges knows what I'm talking about. The woman pictured <laughs> above did not steal the man pictured above's money. The man never had any money in the first place. John he, Q. Hammonds never he, had any money. That's what it's claiming. He did everything on credit, paying off one hotel, then using the funds from it to finance another hotel. You've heard the term 10 cent millionaire? The man pictured above was a hundred dollar millionaire. 
Now we will see what the city of Springfield does with the ball field that he financed on their credit card and see if a new donor arises and pays off the money owed on the college arena. That's a real uncomfortable situation. That's a real, I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is this is why we're showing this. It's what is drama. this? It's, it's a little dramatic, yes, but and, uh, what is that? For some reason, somebody felt like Craigslist was the uh, proper outlet for this information. <laughs> well, I mean, like, cl clearly it works because, you know, like... I think it was Johnny Cross. You think Johnny Cross did it? <laughs> Johnny it probably, Cross did this. Johnny Cross did <laughs> Oh, I got so many things I could have made jokes about. <laughs> all right, well, hey, um, you know, back to something cuter, all right? Did you hear about Chance the Pure white pot belly boy certainly somebody has room in their heart and home oh you guys for chance look at this look you don't even know we need a close-up i think we need a close-up we're gonna get one here let's do some close-ups here um let's just keep talking to them about something i don't know uh G i'm really distracted by yeah chance i know they're the so cute oh my gosh <laughs> look up there oh chance uh, Which way am I supposed to look? Like this way? There's there nothing up there down in the bunker. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, uh, okay. I just got to zoom in a whole lot. He's so tiny. Can we get any of those other pictures? Yeah. Boop! Okay. So this is Chance, the <laughs> pot belly pig. We're going to go over here and we're going to... Guys. Oh. My God. Look at that. Look at that baby. Yeah, it's, you want this thing in your home. It needs a home where it has love. Love this thing. How can you not? All right, hold on. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, my God, look at him. He looks like he's getting ready to play with you. <gasps> oh. it's, like, it's like the puppy pounce, but it's like the pig pounce. I saw a pug on here. It melted my heart. But we're only allowed to have one dog. I know. Hey, dude, I don't know what kind of pig this is. Tell me what kind of pig this is. Does anybody know what kind of pig this is right here? Let's Look at that. The, the, the stripe on its thing. and It's cool looking. It's a punk over rock there. pig. It's a punk rock pig over there. It has a mohawk. It's a racer stripe pig. It's, it's an angry pig. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Right there. Aww. Look at that. But then there's that one. God, this has just become the uh, the really cute animal show. Yeah, it probably seems like an exploitation. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit exploity. <laughs> we were just really excited about it this morning, and it somehow filtered its way into the content. Yeah, what, what's the comment <laughs> section look like right now? Deborah K. Kleins asks if that lady is the lady who uh, handled John Q. Hammond's affairs while he was not able to. There's a big scandal over it. Oh, so maybe we should, you know, hey, I wonder if Jack Baloney can uh, give us some insight and dig up some stuff. That guy's the best journalist in town, hands down. Uh, well, sorry, everyone. best investigative journalist. He's my favorite. There's some other good How about this? I say best. <laughs> I mean my personal favorite. The dude knows what he's doing. Look, we were down at the Outland mm -hmm. like a month or two ago probably, and <laughs> so Donnie's like in the window getting some light to do some podcasting, yeah. and the sky runs by and then stops and then runs back and starts like tapping on the window and getting Donnie's attention. And it's Jack Baloney from the newsletter. And I was like, oh my God, and he turns I totally around and points to the back of his jacket and it says, you know, like Baloney. Baloney on the back of it. And they're like fangirling at each other for like five minutes straight. <laughs> and then finally, Man, it's no. like, why don't you guys just open the door and Yeah, he's a cool guy. Talk. <laughs> he's cool, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, that was so cool. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I like to be aware of uh, events that are going on around, and that guy can appreciate, you know, getting to the bottom of stuff. I he think does. that that's really He's, admirable. And he doesn't give a shit what you think about it either. Yep, that's he true. He does it. <laughs> it's weird. He gets to the stuff, and I'm like, people probably hate that guy in some circles. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure he is well hated. Because <laughs> he, he, he writes stories about things like... like uh, Things that make people uncomfortable. Yeah, exactly. Like child molesters and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's weird. So, hey, uh, well, it's, we, it's weird that, like, he's such a rarity, you know what I mean? Um, so, rare is a good word. Um, so, this is Hello Springfield. It's the new show. Um, we've just been kind of having fun with it at the moment today. Uh, we're going to start doing 
some different things. You know, you'll see that as time goes on. It's, it's going to be fun. We're going to have all kinds of fun segments, including one that I'm excited about. I've been trying to work on this for a while now. Uh, Ozark's Urban Legends. So basically how this works is uh, if you have an Ozark's Urban Legend that you'd like to tell to everybody, I can just green screen you. I'll, pr I'll bring a green screen pretty much anywhere, and, uh, and we'll film you telling a story. The one that you did with, with Patches was a riot. Yeah, that was a whole lot of fun. <laughs> I laughed repeatedly and watched it like 30 times. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to have a lot of fun doing that. Uh, I'm excited about it. I just need your stories. So Ozark's Urban Legends, this isn't like, I don't have a page for it or anything. You can find it on the good, uh, well, it's currently Good Morning Ozark's Facebook page, but it will be changed as soon as Facebook allows us to. Yeah, we have a little more information uh, from Deborah K. Klein. The college pays 200000 a year. I think to use Hammond's Field, and they could, pos could possibly have to find a new home depending on what happens with the ballpark. Who really owns it? Who really owns the ballpark? Who really owns John Q. Hammond's ballpark? Hammond's Field. The, it's the Hammond's Field mystery, guys. And, uh, and that's really, it's kind of exciting. Hey, do you have news about uh, what's going on in the local, uh, oh man, you know what, I should change that to say, do you got news? Yeah, I am the news now. <laughs> Y'all got any of that news? <laughs> oh, man. Um, wh what are we doing today? You're, you're going to meet with Michelle. Michelle. Michelle, she's actually watching right now. She gave oh, us hey. some big heart eyes. We're going Aww. to Mudhouse to talk about some social media strategies. And I'm going to so record some drizzle cool. stuff and get some work done. Because you're opening for Haystack. Yeah, Haystack in the house. <laughs> Well, I'm, I mean, he's not in the bunker, but he will be at the Outland on June 1st. The above-ground bunker. The above-ground bunker, <laughs> yeah. Is that even a thing? Probably. Probably. It's a building. <laughs> All we right. got those Yeah, here. we got buildings here. All right, guys, thank you. This has been Thursday. Go ahead and check out all of the shows that I mentioned earlier at the Outland. Here, I'll, I'll try to bring those up uh, once again, including this, this Los Bastardos show. This I is... I'm so excited. Every time you say it, I'm just like, I can't wait for that. Yeah, this is going to be great. <laughs> this is, uh, yes, Los Bastardos, Primus Tribute Band. If you like Primus, then you need to go here. Dude, in Vultures of Chaos County, I'm not even just saying it because Danny's done so many nice things for us. Like, before he did nice things for us, I loved that band. They're just an incredible show. Like, they're just a lot of fun. This is the Vultures of Chaos County right here. Here, I'm, uh, I need to resize this. I'll go back here. Ooh, teleporting. <laughs> All right. Um, yes. The Vultures of Chaos County. You can only see, like, part. That's kind of Danny up there in the right-hand corner, if you can. Yeah. Uh, well, you, they can't see it. They're, they're seeing oh, yeah. this right here. They're seeing that. <laughs> This is, uh, this is fun, guys. You know, we're flying by the seat of our pants today. Uh, if you've got any Certainly local news... you couldn't tell. Yeah, no, <laughs> not at all. Um, if you've got any local news or events that you'd like to have covered, you know, get a hold of us. Uh, we're going to be... Oh, look, I got another message. <laughs> From Danny. How yeah, about that's that? great. All right, yeah. here we go. Uh, boop. Uh, this is the Vultures <laughs> of Chaos County. Uh, these, uh, this is my own personal Facebook page. Uh, there they go. It's the Vultures of Chaos County. That's the uh, front of house lounge stage right there. They actually did a like a halftime show for us at uh, Dr. Lobotomy's Insanity Cinema Cinema one night. That's a tongue twister. Yeah, that was. Damn good. it, Donnie. It was a good. Show. <laughs> oh my God, that's a thing. Damn it, Donnie. <laughs> Maple doing what in the world? Uh, what is this? I don't know. Let's find out. This is called the bartender won't even cry. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what's happening right now. I won't even cry. Hello, two, three, four. God. <laughs> I play favorite song. Fuck. Damn it. He's on the floor. <laughs> hey, everybody. I am getting a little bit aggravated. Man, I 
I can't do that. My foot's moving. <laughs> this is how you do. M to the A to the P to the L to the E. That's me. <gasps> Just the one tree, not the whole forest. This is a really big word. Maple. <laughs> Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> that guy's insane. He's a riot. I uh, love that guy. That would have kept going on for another two minutes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, two and a half minutes actually. Michelle wants to know if we can do the soil interview on May twenty fourth, because they're going they're mm. at uh, Rocklahoma on the twenty fifth. Yes, we can do the we can do Michelle, we can do the interview anytime you would like. Pretty much. Uh, that's perfectly you're a, fine. You're a priority. You man. are. This would not be possible <laughs> with the the generous contributions from uh, Michelle and Troy from G Street Music. Um, the, this a beautiful 4K video that's coming to you. Actually, I think, you know what, I think I set it down to 720 so it would stream better. You can even see my wrinkles in it. <sighs> but it looks great, you know? And this is Facebook, so it doesn't look as good as it would. But just know that in here it looks amazing. And uh, thank you for your support. I like it. I can't wait to go hang out with her today. She's cool as shit. Yeah, that's going to be good. There's always that, too. You know, sometimes people are just cool as shit. <laughs> yeah, there's that, too. I like hanging out with people. I like hanging out with Dan Maple. I like <laughs> hanging out at tables. And shows. Man, I'm just rapping now. Uh, yeah, hey, anyway, so it's the Outland. The shows are coming up tonight. Owl, who else? Collateral Damage. Uh, yeah, um... All of them. All Come of to them. all the... We came as Romans. <laughs> yes. Um, they're all going to be there at the Outland tonight. It's going to be so much fun. Um, can join us tomorrow where we're going to have even more news and a show that actually is put together uh, well. Hey, you know, go to our YouTube page. We've got YouTube. It's Springfield Beat. I know, I know the crawlers are probably going to find us, but whatever. Uh, go to our YouTube page. You'll be able to find that. It's... It's, what are we going to do? What are we going to call that YouTube page? What do you guys think? Hey, in the comments section, tell us what you think we should name our YouTube page. Thank, thankfully, you guys have cared enough that you've subscribed to our channel on YouTube. Um, Don't ask those people. They're going to be like, how about Fart Knocker? Fart Knocker. The, the Fart Knocker channel. Anyways, a hundred and... Why not just Hello Springfield? Hello Springfield? Is that cool? Or should we yeah. do something? I think that... I think Hello Springfield is good, and we can just separate all our segments out, and everybody can just watch the videos and mm -hmm. have a lot of fun, and probably make fun of us a whole lot, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah, Hello Springfield. That'll be it. And we're going to bring in little things and clips from other people and do all this. This is going to be an awesome show. Thank you, everybody who is, uh, sincerely, like, everybody who has made this all possible. Um, I'm we are going to make a really great show with this. It's probably going to be a whole lot of clips of Mark Ovel saying crazy stuff when he's out in public. Oh, I think I have a clip of that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, I gotta we find have all that. kinds of stuff to pull from already. That's like from, from the last few months that we just haven't like put on that. the internet yet. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, check out uh, the show on YouTube. I'll put the... Would you want to put the YouTube link in the... Well, right now it's still Springfield Beat, right? Like, yeah. we haven't changed it yet, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and comment if you guys want to go subscribe, and one or two days a week we'll probably be, probably be uploading there, there'll also be, um, these, these live videos we'll probably also put up on YouTube, I think, if they have vital information. Yeah. Um, this will be uploaded to YouTube later on. It's and then real soon we're going to have recording. a website where they're all going to be too. And that's going to be really cool because it's going to be like a video magazine. We're teaming up with some other uh, media businesses in the area and all kinds of cool new... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm saying um too much. She's telling secrets. <laughs> well... I love it. They're this secrets, is so much but fun. But there's stuff in the works and this summer, shit's going to yeah, dude, we're going to start doing cool stuff. We've got all kinds of plans we're doing, and we're going to start promoting with other people, and get it's, it's all a community, and it's so much fun, and we get to be a media network for a few different outlets, yeah, uh, which like, is like super... Yeah, like literally over top of the radio stations and newspapers. Yeah, that's exciting. So we're excited about that. All right, guys, well, <laughs> with that news uh, in, in mind, uh, I guess that we're going to uh, leave with one song that I cannot get out of my head. Um, Which one is that? 
Uh, let me see if I can even find it. It's Timmy Miano. <gasps> Is it? Thank God for sun. No, 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 it's the broccoli one. Yes. Pasta. Pasta. Comes Pasta broccoli. Song. It's so good. <laughs> he played it live uh, at the Clownbus show last Saturday, and it was pretty hilarious. Uh, uh, where is it at? I don't actually think it's on Spotify. I think it is, but um, maybe, maybe not. Maybe just play "Thank God for Science" because that song's hilarious. What if I just did this one? Hey guys, this they're is Pontoon good. Boat, yeah, by Timmy Miano. Timmy Miano doesn't write bad songs. Just yeah, throwing that out it's there. It's true, they're all good. <laughs> all right, well, this has been the Thursday episode. We will be back on Friday. It's, you know, it's, it's going to keep getting better, guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, do we say Michelle goodbye? Michelle Raya says, don't forget to tell people you want them to advertise with you. We have several spots yes. still open. We do. Uh, we, we are making space on this show so we don't have to have... A, a ton of ads everywhere and keep reminding you of things, but we do have some ad space that is available on... And it's not limited to the internet stuff either. No, no. Uh, we also book shows and do event planning, so... We'll uh, be a huge... We will actually be a pretty huge part of uh, a lot of the first Friday concerts this summer. Uh -huh. We're going to have a booth there, and we'll be the media outlet for that. We're going to have some more details as those come along, so... Um, you know, there are a lot of places for us to be able to engage uh, your audience directly. If you're in the local music scene, if you're a music store, if you're a, 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 like an instrument store. Probably a head shop. If, you, if you're a head <laughs> shop. Uh, these are the kind of businesses that we're looking for. These are the kinds of, you know, this is the stuff we're bringing the people of the community. So you, you get the tone. You know, people, people need services and we can directly market. I'm, I'm getting boring now. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. This is Timmy Miano with Pontoon Boat. If I can get it to play. Okay, here we go. Woo! Can you hit the stinger button? The stinger button, where is it? Right there? Just a, it clicks. Bye. When I get sick of it all, I want to leave it all behind. When the pressure's in my life, Got to